With that said, here we go. Shoe number one that I'm purchasing again. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. You're not going to believe it, everyone. You are not going to believe it. Hope you're doing well out there. Uh, I'm going to reveal to you in one second right here the two pairs of running shoes that I'm buying again. Why? Because I love them. Now, you know, like I don't need, I really don't need more running shoes. I'm looking at all these back here and over here. Um, I feel very fortunate that I'm able to test a lot of running shoes, hopefully passing that testing knowledge and wisdom on to all of you through the running shoe reviews. Uh, but I really don't need more running shoes. And as I mentioned, I think a couple days ago on the vlog, we have a finite amount of miles that we can put into our legs. I wish it was inf infinite, but it's not. So I have to be um, a little strategic in the shoes that I decide to run in. But at the end of the day, there's some shoes that just don't work and they end up in the running shoe giveaways. Like I'm looking at, um, I don't know, well, I won't even get into it. There's shoes that just don't work with my gait cycle and my foot strike. But then there's shoes that are just butter to my feet, butter to my gait cycle. I just love them, love them so, so much. They're comfortable. They help with my overall turnover. I love them. So, and I'm gonna shock you here in a second. Um, and in fact, I might ruffle a few feathers because it's probably not what you're expecting. Well, okay, the shoes, the shoes, you might be able to guess. Actually, let's pause the video. What two shoes am I purchasing today on Black Friday? But what's really gonna shock you are the iterations, the iterations, okay? With that said, here we go. Shoe number one that I'm purchasing again. I can't believe it, I can't believe it. The New Balance Beacon V1, not the V2. There it is, the baby blue. That's right, today on Black Friday, most likely. So here's the deal. I'm recording this video on Thursday night and I'm buying the shoes on Black Friday tomorrow. So down in the description of this video, I will give you the exact link where I bought my Beacon V1. Why am I buying the Beacon V1 over the Beacon V2? I prefer, you better believe it, I prefer the Beacon V1 upper over the V2 upper. And I'm not the only one out there. You know who you are. You've, you've commented on the other videos about these two shoes. I just love, now listen, I don't mind this heel flare in the back of the V2, but overall, the heel counter in the V1, I am finding much more comfortable. Now, yes, this V2 did lose a little bit of weight compared to the 2018 iteration, but overall, and the toe box upper, um, and just so you know, the midsoles are exactly the same in these two shoes, but the upper changed quite a bit, and I'm just not, I'm not loving the upper material that they chose for the 2019 iteration, and right now, on Amazon, I think I'm seeing the Beacon V1 in my size at around $80 to $90. So that's pretty good. Not great. I'm going to keep looking. And again, I'm going to link down below in the description to where I actually end up buying this shoe. Um, most likely, it'll be from Amazon. It's not even on Running Warehouse or Jackrabbit or New Balance or anywhere. Like, you have to kind of go to secondary sources. And I just want to encourage you, if you're looking for good deals, in your size, that is the trick. And I'm seeing this shoe in my size in a couple different places, but I'm not gonna buy them tonight. I'm gonna wait until when you're watching this on Friday. Are you shocked? Are you shocked? So I'm going with the Beacon V1, a little baby blue action, coming back to the studio. You better believe it. And are you ready for shoe number two? Oh man, oh man, you better believe it. It is the 2018 iteration, not 2019 the 2018 iteration of the Turbo. There it is, oh my goodness, butter the bread. So here's the 2019 iteration, here's the 2018 iteration. Once again, once again, the uppers. They made a dr dr dramatic change from the 2018 to the 2019 version with respect to the uppers. Again, I'm just not loving how Nike changed the heel counter. So the heel counter is here in the back of the shoe. And then here's the collar. Uh, I'm just gonna say, so now listen, this shoe is lighter. 2019 shoe is lighter, 
but the comfort level of the 2018 iteration is night and day in my opinion through the upper of the turbo so i'm gonna get another turbo for the version one okay so 2018 and i'm just i'm just not loving the i just don't love the collar of this turbo two and okay one last comparison real quick i wish i wish that so i'm loving how in the next percent from nike that they actually did put that padding there in the back of the heel counter i feel like they should have considered that in the back of the turbo too it is not there and i actually was getting some blisters when i was breaking the shoe in gosh that was probably three or four months ago now and i actually stopped kind of wearing it because my heel my achilles tendon sorry my Achilles, there's actually blood yes there is dried blood on this shoe uh, my achilles tendon was rubbing on the back of this heel counter so with that said can you believe it everybody and just again i will link when I make the purchase, I will link down in the description where I actually end up buying both of these shoes. I'm hoping for a really good deal on this Black Friday. We shall see. Turbo One, Beacon One, let's go. Let's go, everybody. So there you have it. Thanks for watching this. I hope that um, helps you dive into some good deals. Because listen, I get it. Running shoes are a little expensive at times, um, but if you can keep the price under a hundred dollars over the next four days of buying shoes and listen i am totally not afraid to go to 2018 even further back if you can find the shoes especially if you love them and save some serious serious dough all right i'm all about pinching those pennies baby there you go so thanks for being here thanks for watching this second video of the day you all rock and yes, we're gonna toss it back to the full reviews of both of these shoes. On the right-hand side, we're gonna go with the Beacon One full review from a long time ago. I think I filmed it about 12 months ago. And the Turbo One full review will be on the left. You all are the best. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.